Hello everyone, this is Blaine with Daz3D. Today we're going to create the fiery genesis image that you see here. We're going to show you everything you need to uh, learn so that you can create this image. So first of all I have the genesis figure loaded inside Daz Studio. You can manipulate that figure by using some of these icons over here in the upper right hand corner of the viewport. You can use a camera cube to click and drag. Um, if you want a direct front view you can just click or a three-quarter view. Um, or you can just drag it around to however you want to look at that. You'll also notice the bounding box around the figure. This means that the figure is selected. We also have the universal manipulator here at the bottom and we're actually going to turn that off just so that it's a little bit easier to see. So under tools we're going to switch from the universal to the node selection. Now what we want to do is with the figure selected I'm in the wardrobe under files wardrobe in the my stuff pane or smart content pane and I'm going to simply grab this jacket and drag it and drop it on the figure. Okay, so that's on the figure. Now we're going to do the same thing with the shorts. Just drag and drop. And that's loaded as well. So as you can see, the figure it has this gray or no texture applied to it. So let's go and apply a texture to the figure. So once again, I double double clicked and selected the Genesis figure. We're going to go under Presets, Materials. Materials is another name that we use for the texture map or the picture that's actually applied to the surface. I select Samples and we're going to use this Sample Lana texture. And I can either double click or I can drag it onto the figure. Okay, now that texture is applied. It looks a little bit nicer for a female figure. Now we want to go under Hair and drag and drop the hair onto this figure. You'll notice that uh, there's several activity tabs across the top, the actors, wardrobe, and props that we're in right now. There's the pose and animate, lights and cameras, and render. We'll go through each one of those. Each one of those has a little bit different uh, layout with different tabs that are associated with it. And it's kind of nice because it just steps you through the sequence of creating this final rendering. Now the hair is applied. If we wanted to change the color, for example, of the hair, um, we can hover over the hair, right mouse click, and select the Adora hair. And under the presets here, we can look at materials and see the different uh, presets that can be applied to that hair. Um, I'm just going to leave it uh, by default here. But this time I'm going to, ch to select the Mangus jacket and we'll be able to go into the presets as well and see the materials for that. I'm going to double click that and load just a little bit different color on the jacket. Alright, so far so good. Um, now we want to put a pose on this figure. So we're going to move to the activity tab called Pose and Animate. And we're in Presets. You'll notice here that the jacket is selected. We want to double click on the figure, make sure that the figure is selected. And because it's sensitive to what is selected in the scene and what it can show based on what's selected. So because the jacket was selected, it didn't show any presets for poses. Um, but now that the Genesis figure is selected, you'll see it's, select, it's highlighted here that uh, these poses are coming up. Now you can sort these based on the child, the female, and the male. We're going to be dialing up a female shape here, so let's uh, look at a female pose. And I'm just going to select, let's see here, let's select this one. Now, one thing I forgot to do is give this uh, figure some shape. So we're going to go back to the Actors and Wardrobe and go to the Shaping tab. Now I'm going to have some things here that um, you may not have yet. Um, I've purchased uh, several of these shapes and I'll, I probably will have a few more here than what you will have. But that's the beauty of it is you can add as you need. So I'm just going to dial up this basic female shape. You'll notice that the figure is adjusting to that. And if I wanted to go into some of the universal shapes and look at stocky or body tone or body builder or whatever. These are universally available for these figures. So if I want to dial up tone a little bit, I can and you'll see some changes happen to the to the body of the figure. So you can also go under currently used and see which morphs you have applied to this figure. Now um, we have the shape, we have the uh, content on the figure, we've adjusted the pose, now we want to go under Lights and Cameras. Let's go under Lights first. Notice I'm in Presets and I want to go to Lights. And I can just select all of those 
and you'll see here the lights for Fiery Genesis. I'm just going to double click that and you'll see these lights kind of come on at the bottom of the viewport. And you'll also notice that the lighting has changed in the scene. And that's great. Now we're going to go to Cameras, to Presets, under Cameras. And here is the camera for Fiery Genesis. I'm going to double click that. And you'll see, maybe it's hard to see, but there is a camera icon here in the scene. And you can switch from the perspective view as I hover my mouse up over here in the right corner. We're in the perspective view camera. Um, and I want to go and look directly through that, through camera one and you'll notice that it actually changed the setting of where I'm looking. Okay, so that's kind of a nice, a nice feature. Another thing we want to do is we want these eyes to be looking at the camera. So I want to go under the Scene tab, and under Genesis there's kind of a hierarchy here, and you'll notice that as it goes down, we, we come down and we can see the head, but we want to open that up, and there's a right eye, and using the Control button, I'm going to select both the right and the left eye, and I'm going to move to the Parameters tab, and under General, there's a Point At tool down here. And as I select that, I want to pick the Camera option because I want the eyes to be pointing at the camera. And say Accept, and did you notice that the eyes are now kind of staring at us? And if we move this figure around, she's looking at you, there you go. And just adds a little bit nicer feel to this, uh, to this scene. All right, you can just click on this to have it uh, close on the side. Okay, so we have the shape we want for the figure. And what we want to do, and you can see what we've currently used here on the left um, by just selecting this currently used in the shaping tab, which is really nice because then it allows you to get an idea of what you've actually done to uh, shape the figure. So now what we want to do is move from the actor or the Genesis figure we want to select the Eldora hair and by doing that and selecting Eldora over here under editor, the shaping editor, now we have a whole list of uh, adjustments that we can make to the hair. So if you want a little bit fuller hair all around, a little bit more volume, maybe you want the, uh, the bangs to um, be a little longer or a little shorter or you want the Let's see here. The right side to be a little longer there. Here we're just making the bangs on that left side of her face go out away from her eyes. With the sweep bangs left, it allows us to move the hair out of her eyes just a little bit. Maybe we want to have a little bit of wind. Just kind of fluff the fluff it out a little bit. And we also want to get the uh, the right bangs just a little bit longer. There we go. So we get the, the shape that we want on the hair, and then what we can do is go and load the background. So under Edit, Backdrop, we're going to, uh, right now it says that there's none, and we want to browse to the location where we actually have the background. And you can see the path that I've used here across the top under DAS 3D Studio My Library, DAS Studio Tutorials, Fiery Genesis, and here is the background. So I want to open that. You'll see it applied to the scene and I don't need to rotate it or anything so I'm just going to say accept and there we go. So that gives me the nice background that we use in this image. So now we want to uh, start setting up for our rendering. So as we move um, to the render tab or the render activity tab under the render settings we want to go through these settings just a little bit and set this up. So we want to um, use the default render. We want to select the letter uh, preset here. So what that does is it gives us a different frame and this frame is available to turn on or off via this little icon over here and it's called show aspect frame. And you can turn that off or you can turn that on in this setting. So we also want to adjust how many pixels we want to have uh, rendered. So if you want higher resolution you up the pixels but notice it's still maintaining the aspect ratio here and it's constrained by locking it with this checkbox. We're going to do a still image in a new window and we're ready to render. Now this is going to take a few minutes to render so what I'm going to do is um, let this render and I'll come back and show you the results. So we'll see you in a minute. Okay so here's the finished rendering and as you know you can create any of these 
uh, shapes and images uh, using the Genesis figure. This is just one that uh, I came up with and you're free to do whatever you want but hopefully you can get similar results in your rendering. So have fun using Daz Studio 4.